handstands are kind of like your headstands in regards to the fact that once you get up there, you can readjust your legs and freeze in different ways. One of the reasons I ask my dancers to learn how to do their handstands up against a wall is because when they're being spotted, we can correct each of the alignment points that we need. From there, you're able to readjust those legs and you can put different curvatures in your back, but it all comes down to control and alignment. It's not just a free for all within your body. By having that wall as guidance, you can feel where your center of balance is while still having a little bit of a connective point. Obviously, when you're using that, you don't want to be just flailing your limbs into the wall. You don't want to just be letting your arms go and things like that. There's a lot of control and a lot of work that goes into these moves. You want to create a strong foundation and basically treat your hands as though they are your feet. If you give yourself a center point to look at, that gives you a good start to find a base. So one of the tricks that I've been taught along the way is to make a triangle with your hands. This way you get a good grip on the ground. Mind you, your arms obviously need to be straight and you are going to look at that point as your guideline for where to get your head. I will see you tomorrow as we talk about one and two arm freezes. I will see you then.